What's going on? Welcome back to a new video. So in today's video, I want to try something that I've been meaning to try out. I want to try out mastering in both Logic and FL Studio. So I want to try out the presets that they have for mastering and see which software has the better mastering presets. Because most people, when you start using these softwares, you're not really an amazing person at mastering. So I want to try out and check them out and see which one has a good starting point of presets for mastering. So I'm going to be using the same track in both of these softwares right so this is how the track sounds like so it sounds pretty cool and I have loaded it in logic right now and you can tell if you look at the wave that it's not mastered the peaks and the like the tops are not really hitting the maximum right here so I'm gonna open up the mixer like this and then I'm gonna come here to the stereo out and then I'm gonna come here to setting and then I'm gonna go to factory and then that's where I can find all the presets here right so we have a lot of presets like these ones here so I'm gonna choose the dance one since this this is kind of like a dance beat right so I'm just gonna pick dance and then it's gonna load this preset right here okay so what it has here is is it has this sub bass but it's turned off and then it has a channel EQ which is this EQ here with some high frequencies that are boosted and then it also has an exciter and then it also has a multi presser and then it also has a limiter on it. So let's take a listen to that and hear how that sounds. So I'm just gonna make sure that I can check out all of these as we play through the track. Okay, so that's the first preset in Logic. So now next we're gonna move to FL Studio. So in FL Studio, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come here over to the master and I'm gonna right click and go to file and then I'm gonna pick the general purpose mastering. So these are the five presets that you can find for mastering. Matter of fact, I'm just gonna start with general purpose air mastering. So I'm gonna load, load this one up and you can see it added an EQ and then it also added a multi-band compressor and a stereo enhancer. So let's take a listen to it. I'm just gonna stop playing it here. Okay, now we're gonna go back and try another preset in Logic, right? So I'm gonna go back into Logic here and then let me just close this and I'm gonna pick another preset. Okay, the next one I'm gonna pick is maybe, let's pick this broadcast ready. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, so this one has a compressor and it has a linear EQ that's right there and then it has a multi-presser and then an exciter that's turned off so I think it's an it's optional if you want to add it or not and then it also has a limiter at the end so let's listen to this and try it out and see how that sounds like so I'm gonna stop playing from here Okay, let me turn on this exciter. Let me switch colors. Okay, so that's the second preset in Logic and now we're gonna go back to FL Studio and try another one as well the second one so I'm gonna go into file and then we're gonna try this let's try maybe general purpose 
three. Let's just skip forward a little bit. Okay, so we've got an EQ, and then we've got another EQ, a multi-band compressor, and a stereo enhancer. Okay, let's play it from here. So after listening to both presets and how they sound, I think FL Studio could really benefit from updating their presets and just adding a little bit more modern presets. I'm not sure when these ones work because I've never used them myself, but they would really be helpful for any beginners who are using FL Studio to have a good starting point in terms of the presets that they use if they want to start mastering. I think that would be a really good idea. I'm glad that they're there, but you really need to do a lot, a lot more work towards the preset if you really want to make them to sound good but what you could do is you can start by maybe turning off the stereo enhancer and then start from there and then you know start add some other things and then when it comes to logic the logic presets they are really cool i have no issue with them but i felt like stereo wise they didn't really have anything to enhance like the stereo wideness of the track so i think that's something that logic can also add a little bit of stereo widening i think that's something that logic can also add into the preset as well so i think presets are really good for any beginners or someone who's starting out in their journey and someone who just wants to have a starting point but otherwise you're gonna have to maybe invest into pl other plugins like mastering plugins like ozone and things like that i think that would be a good place if you really want to get a, like really good mastering but i have videos where i cover ozone if you want to check those out you can definitely check those out but i just wanted to showcase like the base presets that you can get in both of these daws drop a comment make sure to drop a comment down below let me know which ones sounded the best to you and let me know what you think if you have any questions drop them down below if you want to also support the channel there are links in the description i'll see you in my next video i'm x and i'm out peace